project shares and the first one is this um, pin cushion I you guys have seen me make a couple of these I just wanted to show it real quick um, with the tilde fabrics and I do have a tutorial out there for this pin cushion and it's so funny because I have to go back and watch my own tutorials um, I don't make these every day I make a few of them a year and I uh, the tick tips and tricks that I give I always forget <laughs> So I, it's ridiculous, but I go back and watch my own tutorials sometimes. Um, and I use, so I use two different tilde fabrics. This is a um, doily that I crocheted and little rhinestone. And on this one, um, I'm sending this off to someone, but I put a couple of stick pins, um, this really cute little button with some sewing pins in there, and then this um, little charm. It's like, it's a little like mirror vanity, little charm. And I um, put a little piece of lace in here and then some seam binding around that. And it was actually quite challenging to get the seam binding in there like that. I just kept um, wrapping it and kind of stitching it um, to the lace before I hot glued and sewed it to the pin cushion so that it wouldn't come off. So there's my pin cushion. And then I altered this little box. It was just a plain um, wooden box. And I painted it with um, like wicker white paint. And then around the edge of the box here, I painted it and then put some, while the paint was still wet, I put some distressed glitter on it. And then I painted over it again and then glittered it again. And the glitter really helped um, to give it this texture. And a lot of sparkle, but it's, it adhered very well with doing the two coats. And as long as I'm standing up, I'll just give you... It's really simple. I just took tilde papers and roughed up the edges a little bit and inked them with some pink distress ink. I put a doily I made on here, and then I showed this flower in another video that I had made um, with a Sizzix dye, I believe it was a Sizzix dye. And then so I just put um, different papers, different tilde papers, and added a couple of trims around the bottom, and then added papers on the bottom and the sides and the inside top. Oh, I also edged all of the edges of the paper with um, my Wink of Stella pen, which might be difficult to pick up on the video. And then I made some, these are the uh, paper flowers from AC Moore, and I gesso glazed and glittered them. And there's also a little doily that I made in the very bottom of there, but I'm not going to unpack that right now. And then I showed you guys this card the other day. So I have a video out there on this card. But I added to it this little image. And I wanted to show you, isn't that precious? Um, I wanted to show you some of the clip art I printed off at Staples the other day. And these are images mostly, here's the funny thing. I bought a couple images off of Etsy and um, I also just cut and paste some off of or copied images off of like Google image and the what some of these are so sweet um, the ones that I didn't pay for actually printed better than the ones I did this one came out beautiful so I just printed those in different sizes and I also have a video out there for anyone who uh, might be new to my channel about how I do clip art printing at Staples. Um, I love this one. I like that one too. Okay, so this one came out, this is the one I purchased and it came out very dark, especially her eyes. So what I went in, I went into paint. This one came out much better. 
I went into paint and um, pulled up the image to, let's see, it's not going to focus. There we go. I pulled up the image to like 400% and just lightened up her eyes. And her eyes were the only things. Whoop. Just getting really close here. I don't think it's going to focus. But um, it printed out so much, so much better. Sorry, all the focusing. So you can see. And then I also printed her in black and white, and I thought maybe I could do some coloring to her myself. So that was one of the images I printed off of Etsy in this one as well. And then all these other ones are just um, from Google Image. And, oh, I really like this one. So I'm looking forward to, well, those are the same, um, making some cards with those. And so one of, you know, one of the images I just cut out here and put on the back of my sentiment card there that's tucked in that pocket. And just love the way that that came out. So I thought I would share about doing that. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a super great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.